Hey guys, Romini from Tech Guides, and in this video I'd like to show you how to enable this very nice performance overlay that you might have seen in some of my recent videos. Now essentially this is simply the overlay from MSI Afterburner and this can be extremely convenient if you want to diagnose performance issues with your game and for this especially the frame time graph is extremely convenient. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to enable the frame time graph in MSI Afterburner and also how to set up MSI Afterburner in order to benchmark your game to get the averages, the 1% and 0.1% lows. Now in order to use Afterburner, you don't need an MSI graphics card and you don't even need an Nvidia graphics card. This software just works with basically any graphics card. So on Google search for MSI Afterburner, click on the first result and download Afterburner. Once downloaded, extract the folder and run the installer. The first time you open up MSI Afterburner, it will likely look a bit different than what I'm showing on screen right now. But this is just because I'm using a different skin. So click on the cog icon, go all the way to the user interface tab and switch to whatever interface skin you like. Me personally, I'm using the Windows 11 skin. Now MSI Afterburner is a very powerful tool for overclocking your GPU. But in today's video, I really don't want to go into the overclocking part of MSI Afterburner, but I simply want to show you how you can use Afterburner in order to display statistics of your game. So for this, we're going to have to set up a few settings. Click on the cog icon and go to on-screen display. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is to set up a toggle on-screen display shortcut. I personally have this on Ctrl P, but you can select basically any shortcut that you like. Now this is important because if you don't get the overlay display, there's no way to actually enable it unless it's enabled by default. So having this hotkey is actually super valuable. So if you now launch into any game and we press the hotkey, you can see that MSI Afterburner is overlaying statistics on top of our game. Now in order to modify this, once again click on the cog icon in MSI Afterburner go to monitoring and here you'll find all the different statistics and values that you can display. So for instance, one thing that I usually like to have is the frame time graph. So simply click on it, click on show in on-screen overlay and select graph. Hit apply and as you can see, MSI is now overlaying the frame time graph. Now by default, this has a horrible pink color so to change this, click on these three dots here right next to the graph and change the color for color from whatever it was to white. Hit apply and that should make your frame time graph turn into a white line. Some other statistics besides the defaults that I'm showing are the frame time average and the 0.1% lows. Note that these actually only update if you are running a benchmark in order for the game to actually know in which period it has to look for the averages and 0.1% lows. So these are the two values shown right there. And in order for those to actually update, you'll need to set up two more hotkeys under the benchmark tab as in the begin recording and end recording hotkeys. Right here, you can also define a file where the benchmark statistics are being saved to. If you don't really care about this, then you can just leave this on the desktop and continuously override it. Now, if you were now to try to benchmark the game and you press Ctrl K, which is my begin recording hotkey, you can see that nothing really happens. And the reason for this is that the options are open. Whenever the options are open, you cannot start a benchmark. So close the options and now you should be able to press Ctrl K. And as you can see, my average FPS and 0.1% lows are being updated. If I now press Ctrl L, and open up the file that I specified under the benchmark results file, you can see that a new line has been added just now. And this is actually also how I'm getting all the statistics for my FPS guides on YouTube. You see, the built-in benchmark in Modern Warfare 2 unfortunately isn't very reliable in terms of the statistics that are resulted. The actual benchmark produces extremely reproducible results. However, the statistics that are being shown at the end are completely useless. Anyway, something else I usually like to do is to actually move this overlay from the top left corner into the top right hand corner. The way to do this is to click on your taskbar and open up the Riva Tuner statistics server. So this brings up yet another setting screen and this is actually what um, draws your statistics on top of your game. So down here you can actually select in which corner you want the statistics, simply click on one of the corners and as you can see the overlay switches into that corner. 
Also, you can change the size of the overlay very simply using this slider. Other than that, you don't really need to do much with the Viva Tuner Statistics server. Just make sure it's always running if you want to have your statistics overlaid in game. And finally, one last tip that I can give you is that if you also want to display the current system time on top of your statistics, then you once again want to go to settings, click on on-screen display and enable show system time. And that's it. With those very few settings, you'll get this very nice statistics overlay on top of your game. Once you're done uh, benchmarking or just figuring out your settings, you simply press Ctrl P and the overlay disappears. And that's basically all you need to know in order to use MSI Afterburner in order to overlay statistics on top of your game. If you want me to cover MSI Afterburner more in depth in another video, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, if you haven't seen it, then definitely check out my ultimate FPS guide for Call of Duty Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 if you're interested in optimizing your game. But that's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Look. Yeah. Good, Good job. Good job.